what you do here at the um, Arboretum. I work in the education department with visitors at the Arboretum. So we run a visitor center and we have tours and other programs for people who come here to enjoy the landscape. What do you do here? I'm a guide here. I just take uh, groups around. Why are you here? Because I came on a tour here 25 years ago and enjoyed it so much that I became a guide myself. We love to recommend that people come and stop in the visitor center because there's a great exhibition in there and an amazing model of the Arboretum. So if you can't walk around and see the whole thing, you can see it in miniature in a model form. And we also have a wonderful library. And then if you can't actually come to the Arboretum, we have a great website. So a lot of people like to visit our website and get kind of a, a virtual view of the Arboretum. People love to visit the bonsai. They're a very popular destination. You get to see the oldest tree in the Arboretum, even though it's only about <laughs> this big. It's actually the oldest one from 1737. This is the tag that identifies this particular plant. And every plant in the Arboretum that we put here has one of these tags. There are over 15,000 different plants here, and every single one of those has one of these copper-colored tags. What do you do here? I'm the greenhouse nursery manager. Basically, I grow plants for the arboretum. All the plants that go out into the arboretum, we, I grow them from seed. What do you like best about your job? Um, I guess really it's just growing plants um, and being involved with people. What's your favorite plant? Um, I don't have a favorite plant. <laughs> I actually like them all. Do you have a favorite kind of tree or plant? In the summer, I think my favorite is probably this meta sequoia here. It's called the Dawn Redwood, and it was a tree that was thought to be extinct. For a while, it only existed as fossils. And uh, this tree, though, was discovered in China, and in 1948, we planted a seed that turned into this amazing tree. How are you doing with it about the state over there? The stakes, that's a great question. So you see that stake in the background, we put stakes next to plants that are new in the Arboretum. We've probably been growing that plant in our greenhouse for several years, but we put that stake next to it when we put it out in the landscape, and that helps our gardeners to know that it needs extra care. I'm a gardener here at the Arboretum, and I take care of this huge garden right here. How do you take care of all this? Well, <laughs> there's a whole lot to take care of here. Um, I do a lot of pruning, and in the springtime, all these beds behind you, we mulch them all. We put a new layer of mulch down, and we do soil testing to make sure the soil is healthy, and we check for pests and diseases. Do you work out here in the cold weather, too, in the winter? We work out here in the cold weather and in the snow. In the wintertime, we plow, actually, the snow. Mm -hmm. Why is the Arboretum important to the community? Well, because the Arboretum's in Boston, it's one of the biggest parks in Boston, so it's a great place for people to come and just enjoy walking around outdoors, walking their dogs, just sitting and enjoying nature. The fact that there's this incredible 265-acre open space that anyone can come to, dawn to dusk, that's an incredible resource for the city of Boston. We're a completely free Arboretum. We're open seven days a week, 365 days a year, and we have trees, shrubs, and vines from all over the world growing here. So you can come and learn about trees, not just from North America, but also from uh, all over Asia and Europe, and really get a chance to travel the globe right here in Boston. Let's see.